Hey everybody, Alan here from the uh, rap department. Today we're going to talk about a couple things besides pizza, shots of moonshine, and a model of my Hummer. These good old boys right here. These things are great tools for vinyl, application, installation, removal, whatever you call it, but sometimes they don't work. Anyways, this video is going to show you the quickest way to fix these things when they just won't come up. I already fixed this one once, but I'm going to take it apart again to show you what the problem was, and it's really quite simple. So all you really need are two simple tools to fix this one problem. Usually, on these models, which is the T8000, you can tell by the longer tube here and the wider tip, this one usually comes with the map gas container, which is a hotter burning, plus the yellow, the yellow button tells you it came with the map gas. The red buttons are with the regular propane. Anyways, the map gas gives you higher heat, the wider tip gives you a bigger flame. So as you can see, it just heats up more of an area quicker and faster. I mean, faster and quicker is the same thing, but anyways, you get what I'm saying. Um, so let's get right to it. We're going to figure out why this thing doesn't fire. The problem was the spark from your igniter. There's a wire that travels through this tube, comes up through here, and it terminates right about here. And the spark's here, and the gas coming out ignites. And that's how it works. Pretty simple. Well, this here, when these things come loose after years of use, I mean, you got to keep this screw tight. Otherwise, this comes loose, and the wire kind of runs back and forth, and the insulation on the wire goes bad, uh, and it shorts out. And what happens is the spark ends here, because it's shorting out here, does not travel up the wire to ignite the flame. That's why you have a problem. So what I did was, took this screw out right here. All you need is the Allen wrench. I don't know what size it is. You have to play with that and figure out which one it is. Put that in there. Loosen this up. Get it all the way off. This pops off. And you can see the wire. It, that installation wasn't there. I actually added that piece earlier before I did the video so I could make sure that's what was wrong with it. Well, anyways, long story short, the wire was frayed here. The installation was frayed here. And it was arcing out here. And the spark was jumping to this instead of traveling up the tube and out the end. So I added this insulation, put it back in, sparked right up, no problem. But before you go through all that trouble, once you get this off, what you can do is stick, this, stick a wire inside here, and that's going to go right to the igniter, and you'll be able to test and see if it sparks just by pressing the trigger. You can see it here, hold on. I don't want to get shocked. But, anyways, so like this, get it close, and you can see the spark. So that spark tells you the igniter's working fine. It just wasn't making it up the wire because it was shorting out. So, once I did, once I put the installation on this and stuck it back on, back in here. Got that on there. Put my set screw back in, if I can find a hole. All right, set the hole on there. Line it up, make sure it's tight. And now, God dang it, that's not good. All right, and then, go, voila. The travel, the spark travels up the tube, out the end, bites the flame, blah, blah, blah. And that's how it works. So a simple fix, when these things just go, Click, 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 and then they don't come on. Check your igniter wire, uh, and that's probably the fastest and easiest fix. Everybody wants you to disassemble all this, check the gaskets and all this. None of that. It's basically right there. It's shorting out because this thing gets loose. I don't know how many times I've had to tighten this thing from just use and throwing it in my toolbox. It gets loose. This wobbles. It frays the wire, and that's the problem. So, I was going to spend 50 bucks on another one. I said, let me try and fix it. It works perfect now. I get another couple of years out of it. 
I might have to replace the wire again, but it's a lot cheaper than buying a new one. Now, that said, there is a, um, a charged cylinder in here, which is kind of like a, a pressure valve that has two rubber O-rings in it. And in really cold temperatures and over years and years, they may wear out. That's highly unlikely, but if they do, I mean, you can pull this whole unit apart. This, come, this unscrews from the tank, and then you can drop the screw out of the back. This whole unit comes off, and it's a two, you know, it's a two-piece unit, and you can replace those O-rings. And there's, there's videos that show how to do that, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about a quick fix, simple wire installation problem. Once you fix that, you're good to go, man. You save your money. This will last forever. Now, another tip I've got for you guys. This is a bonus. These boogers right here, get these at Harbor Freight for, I think I paid 14 bucks for it. And there's a, what it's called. You put this on your propane tank, your like your barbecue grill tank or your camping grill tanks that are like 25 pound tanks, you know. Um, and then this, you just unscrew the top of this one unscrew this thing right here and screw this onto it and you can refill this these tanks for a penny down the dollar i mean this is a five dollar tank and you screw this on and you can refill it and use it over and over again um, instead of throwing these away because it, it starts to add up after a couple of months i mean you've already gone through you know maybe two or three of these so it can add up when you can just go ahead and use this tool right here and it's called a Propane bottle refill adapter. Pretty simple. Um, hard to find sometimes. They don't have it at Home Depot, but they do have it at Harbor Freight. Um, so they are good for something after all. Um, and that will save you some money. And fixing this sucker by putting a piece of insulation in there, you know, that'll save you some money too. So anyways, click like, subscribe, all that junk. And until next time, peace. Wrapped apartment.